here. Could be that Jack's actually coming out for Finn. I like Jack's generally as a pick with Concrete. He can be very strong into the Aurelia matchup. I'll be honest, not one I know incredibly well, so we'll see how that is way up as well. Only level four, Finn. Pop the counter strike already. Ready, wonder. Uses the defiant dance. Caps death. Flash away from Yankos. Ignite down onto Finn. Caps tanking on the tower. The ignite's enough. And G2 right. with it. Which means that Wonder can stand a tower now. Caps. He's dead. He's dead. Just as I was praising him. Yeah. He's looking for the gank up towards the top lane. Finn just like, can I dodge? Can I weave? Can I dive away from this one? Paddle Starker next, but there is the counter strike. Lands the stun onto Caps. Caps almost goes down. Finn ignited. Wonder will get the kill. And once again, G2 get out just about alive. Senkut's on his way up though, trying to chase down Wonder. If he can, Zoe's out. Wonder does still have the flash. Senkex has the box on that ultimate. Wonder flashes away. Senkex with the flash chase, though, the into with the Abscot, and the box comes down. Senkex lands the chains and has enough damage in the top lane soon. Oh, oh, Finn's already used his leaps like Wonder lands the stun. Should be an easy 1v1, but uh, Yankos is here to help out just in case. Pops the ultimate, and Finn underneath the tower. Wonder just blade surges forward. Easy enough kill. Meanwhile, Kick is doing what he often. Ooh, he you very low though. He's Erks pops the culling, gets the kill. A great hook from Mikio to kick it in the lantern away. Not yeah. Um, and the mistake there was the fact that he tried to follow Vanda and Kick as they set up a flank through the try. Can trust Wonder to carry. And now the, the obviously the weight falls on Wonder's shoulders, but he's a 2-1-1 Aurelia. 15 minutes in, he has a completed Trinity force. He has a 30 CS advantage. And meanwhile, Caps is just going to continue to get bullied. Yeah, he lands the sleep. The Ignite comes down as well, but Caps is still able to get away. Yankos, ultimate stolen away from him. That's the Void Rush now sitting onto Senkuk's Mickey. Dodges out from the undertow. Here comes Finn, flashes in. Caps is done. Finn gets the kill, but now he's underneath the tower, and Mickey and Yankos can just chase him down. Easy enough stuff. Yankos secures his first kill of the game. Poor Caps. He's given up so much for his team, and now Perks in the 1v1. A little bit out of position, but Pots the culling. Senkuk's coming in from the side as well. He's running up towards Vanda. There's a lantern, and Mickey gets his AD carry out. Oh, the chase in from Senkuk with the void rush. Teleport coming in as well. Jax is going to rejoin this fight. Senkuk's already down, and now perhaps actually it's Hiku coming in, maybe out of position. Kick is chased off by Yankos. It's a double kill for the Rek'Sai. Hiku has to jump across the wall, but the chase is on from Wonder. Doesn't land the stun. Still has the blade surge. Gets the kill. Yankos chasing Vanda out towards the top side as well. So much true damage. He doesn't realize that Finn comes in from the flank. He he tries to use his ultimate ultimate to avoid. It's not enough. Then so looking for another fight. Oh, he flashed into the sleep. Good night, sweet prince. Oh, that was that was not fun to watch. Hmm. So, this gives me an opportunity. No, never mind. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's still more action going on. Second steals away the culling. Yankers on the chase here. Four members of G2 just surrounding the Silas, and not really much Senkers can do to get away from that. Another kill for G2, 10 to 4 up as we crest the 18 minute mark of the game. So now they're pushing. Remember that in all of this, they had actually pushed up bot, which meant that Finn was forced to catch this entire wave. He's now pushing that out as G2 have set up all these plays in the top side. And now, when. Oh! oh. <laughs> against you and uh, that's also cool about them also fun to watch but they also like to kill you and that's what they're doing right now. Finn gets the stun off gonna leap strike away but Yankos with the chase good stun from Wonder once again and Yankos will be given the kill with 5.03 on that's this right. You look at... never mind the game isn't over yet I'll talk more about it a little bit later. Caps is in a situation where he can't really 1v1 the Senkux um, so he's just forced to wave clear. He's just trying to catch these waves. But that doesn't matter because he made the sacrifice for his team. Yeah. And you can see Perks is very far ahead. Wonder is extremely far ahead. Wait. Oh, he's waiting for it. Wonder jumps in, lands the flawless duet, jumps out, but the stun comes out from Finn. Now Senkut's on the chase. Wonder down to about half HP. Pops the Vanguard's edge. Down to a third. Maybe a kill for Rogue. The shutdown. From no the play there. And I think Probably just going to abandon his mid laner here if he can. Perks is on the chase. Kick is coming around with the Predator as well. Senkut's heels up. G2 yeah, maybe not in the best fight. position. Hex Smash coming in. The re-engage onto Mickey. They caught out one. G2 went too far and Rogue came a knocking. They take down one. Kick is paddle starred down to about half HP. Caps with the chase there. The redemption used. Paddle star coming out as well. Doesn't hit Kickers because he flashes away. Here comes the culling from the side as Yankos is forced away. Senkos there. Bing flashes in. Can't quite land the counter strike on Caps. Who has another flash? Senkos still going forward. Hiku gets the kill from downtown though and Rogue. Hiku lands a good Q to help secure that last hit. Great Q. Lands it just at the very tip of the spear. His tower quite low. Senkuts will show himself. Wonder dodging around, but there goes the tower. Finn has already used the leap strike. Doesn't have flash either. We'll go in with the counter strike. There's the leap. Wonder flashes away. G2 fighting up towards the top side. They're looking to catch out. 
kick here. Can't quite do it. Now Finn and Senkix have joined in the mid lane. You can see that they are pushing that one out, but G2 again looking to trade. They secure it. Chase out Kikis. Puts him to sleep, 4,000 HP left on the Baron. Kikis pops the Ragnarok going into the chase, but that Baron already so low. It's done. G2 get it, and now they're going to turn the fight because Finn has teleported in. Caps on the chase. It's three members of Rogue down towards the bottom side. A great knockup though from Rogue, and they're going to go in. The true shot first comes out. Finn with a lot of damage. The spear of Sojin doing work. He gets damage on the Perth, but can't quite take him out. Now Mickey chased down towards the bottom side. Gets a great hook onto Heq, and somehow all of Rogue just disappear off the face of Summoner's Rift. The storm sweeps away the barn as G2 find a five for zero. They've grabbed themselves the Baron buff. Ro can't stall out any longer. G2 looking to add another win on their record. That was just disgusting from G2. They take the Baron, they're just going to open up the door. They don't even knock, they just blow it over and they'll take this game pretty easily over Rogue. Looks like the 17-1 for G2 is still very much on the cards. Beautiful team fight there. Now the respawns are starting to come through from the side of Rogue, but the teleport is in. Five members Baron up. I don't know if Rogue can stop this. I think G2 have got the win. Rogue, just another speed bump in the way of the steamroller that's G2. 12 and 1. A lot of cool things happen in that game. Love the uh, the play from Vanda. I love the way in which he set up a lot of those cool headbutts. Unfortunately, when they came about, it was a little too late into the game. Uh, Caps really sacrificed his lane for the betterment of everyone else. He roamed top a significant amount. We saw him grouping with his jungler just to contest an enemy blue buff that ended up getting stolen away. He ended up being only forced the S down at the very end of the game, but that wasn't the case for the majority of it. And even though he was at a deficit, and even though he was constantly behind Senkux, he still found that impact. He was still able to be relevant. And overall, I think that's... Uh, I was just very impressed with what he was able to do, even though...